What's up guys, as I was prone today, I'm going to show you guys how to pair your Magic Trackpad to an iPad on iOS 13 or 14 today, so let's get started. So before you guys pair your Magic Trackpad up to your iPad, there are a few things to know about. First thing is, make sure your Magic Trackpad is turned on by flipping the switch on the back. Second thing is, make sure your iPad Bluetooth is turned on as well. And make sure you guys have an iPad running iOS 13 or 14 from the iPad Air 2 and up, iPad Mini 4 and up, and the iPad Pro first generation and up. So now, we go to settings, go to Bluetooth, you guys can see iOS Pro's trackpad, just like that. Now it's paired up, you guys can see my cursor right here, the same cursor design as the mouse. But to scroll, use two fingers instead of one. You guys can see on both sides. And when we go to accessibility now, scroll down, we have a new option for pointer control. As you guys can see that. So you guys see there are the few, the quite a bit of options for pointer controls here, for like increased contrast, automatically hide pointer. That means if you don't use your pointer for a few seconds or to a minute, it can hide itself just like that. And you could change the color of your cursor, like blue, red, green, yellow, and orange here. So, or I can click none, or it changes it back to the default here, which is gray. There's even a pointer size, so when I do this, my pointer size increases. This for people who like cannot see very well, so that's why it's there. There's another one for pointer animations, that's what the animations here. There's even another one for double tap, tap and drag, that's for the drag and drop. Then trackpad inertia allows the pointer to, to continue moving after you lift your finger like this. So really cool. And there's a new one for there's another one for a scrolling speed, which means it's the exact same thing as the mouse. So you can just how fast the scroller works. So really cool. And we go general, you get an option down here for trackpad as well. For like the same options as the mouse one, for like tracking speed, natural scrolling, but there's a new one for tap to click and two finger secondary click. So there's no like there's no like left and right selection option here. But there's a new one for tap to click or two fingers secondary click. The tap to click is like this. I turn it on, now I tap, just like this. I don't have to I don't actually have to press down the trackpad for to click with that on. So when I turn that off now, you guys can see I now have to press for the click to work. So just like that. To go home now, you have to actually swipe down the bottom like this for a long time. Like, I'll do it again. So I open settings here. Like when I see my finger here, I have to scroll like this one. I do it again. I have to pull it down quickly for it to exit apps. To go in the app switcher, I do this. Wait a few seconds, just like that. I'll do it again. Swipe and hold, and it opens up the app switcher. To go to control center, I actually have to click up here, and it opens up control center. So really cool. To to get the force touch menus, I tap and hold and I get the force touch menus. And here's the cool part. When you eat like the Apple TV here, when you when you move around a little bit, you get the, you get the same Apple TV animation uh, for uh, than Apple TV on iOS 14. So, that's really cool. I'll do it again. You guys see I'm getting the same exact like moving cursor animation that the Apple TV has. Like when you want to move, make the icons animate, the iPad now has it from the Apple TV. Like this. So, that's really cool to know. So, that is how you pair your Magic Trackpad to an iPad on iOS 13 or 14. So, that's pretty much it for this video. If I give it a sub, it's my video. Peace out.